friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karina. If you're new, welcome. Today I have a spring decor tour to share with you guys. I'm so excited to show, show you around our home and show you the things that we have done to decorate for spring. Spring is my absolute favorite season and I love to decorate, but we have to do so on a budget. So today I'm going to share with you my favorite ways to decorate that are inexpensive or with things that we already had. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay friends, so we're starting in our entryway and this is just a little table that we have next to our door. It holds kiki stuff and shoes and all that good stuff. But the thing I've added here is this little vase and it's just flowers from the Dollar Tree and I have these little Easter egg, um, like styrofoam, styrofoam Easter eggs, in the vase as vase filler and they're just like a little bit sparkly. So it just adds a nice little touch here in the entry when we first walk in. So let's move right along and the next place that we have some decor is in our kitchen. And don't mind my tripod. So this is a chalkboard sign and I like to change this out seasonally. Uh, I just do whichever kind of, I don't know, whatever strikes me in the moment. So on this one I just did a he is risen, or wrote he is risen, with a little like sunbeam thing happening there. This has been really fun and it's literally so inexpensive to do. You just need to buy a chalkboard. I got mine from Hobby Lobby and then I just painted the edges. So it was like that traditional kind of like light tan color um, on the frame and I just painted it with paint that you can also buy at Hobby Lobby for like a dollar or something. Um, and yeah, and then it, it's really like monochromatic and it, we just change it out seasonally and I add some decor around it sometimes like garland and whatnot. But actually there's one other thing here in the kitchen and these are our dish towels. So this is another great way to get some just seasonal um, fun happening in your space. These I got from, I believe, Home Goods or TJ Maxx. And at those places they're only a couple of dollars, maybe like four dollars for a set of two. Um, and they have literally towels for every different season as we come into the different seasons. Um, and I just like to layer them here and I usually get two different styles so that I can kind of layer them and coordinate them um, and have some fun with that. And then the last seasonal thing I have going on right now are my coffee mugs and my coffee. <laughs> so I'm having some peep coffee right now. There's literally a little marshmallow in my coffee and this coffee is um, or this mug is a little Easter mug that I did get at either Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I want to say last year or the year before. Um, and again, mugs at those places are about $3, so really inexpensive, and the peep is just like a fun little touch. <laughs> okay, so now this is our living room, and it's just like one big room, but we, we get a lot of use out of it. Um, so like my office is in here and all that good stuff. But this is a little like media stand that we use as kind of just like a holding center, and so I have a little tray here. The tree is actually from Ikea, and then I have picture frame and candle, which are from who knows where. Um, and But the thing I wanted to share with you guys are our napkins. So I love to get seasonal napkins. This guy is, it's a little bunny, and he says hop to it, and he has glasses and a bow tie, and he is so stinking cute, and there's little Easter eggs behind him. And then I also have a couple from last year that are just pastel Easter eggs. And I have one other set that are actually like striped and they say Happy Easter in this pastel kind of color scheme. So these um, napkins are again are from, these are actually from Marshalls, but you can get them at TJ Maxx or Home Goods as well. And they're about $3 a pack, so that's a really fun way to spice up your decor and it's something that, you know, we use. So we use napkins all the time. So it's something that is useful also. So here on our little bar, right on the other side of our kitchen, I love to change out this vase with different flowers. So I pretty much keep the vase here all year, but I change out the flowers according to the season. So right now I have some kind of pastel, like peachy pink flowers here. And another thing that we change out seasonally are our candles. So right now this is a peach Bellini candle. This is actually more of like a summery scent, but the pastel color, it's like this pastel peach, is just perfect for the spring. So I brought that in and we kind of got rid of our like, you know, cinnamony, like fall, Christmas, winter candles and all that good stuff. So speaking of flowers, here on my desk, I do have another little floral arrangement. I buy all of my fake flowers from the Dollar Tree and I just snip them off of the ends usually, or off of the stem. So I usually just 
clip them off of the stem that they're on and I'll either like you know curl it if I need to make them a little bit shorter or cut them off but they're like just individual um, there and so I can arrange them the way that I like and this little vase is from the Target dollar spot um, I think a couple of years ago but it's just a nice little pastel I also have a black one for um, like the fall and winter seasons as well so I love to just bring in a little bit of floral inside even though we don't have like fresh flowers usually and I'm going to share with you guys a little sneak peek at a DIY that I'm going to do that I'm going to share with you it's going to be a wreath I'm so excited Okay friends, so moving on here into our living room, again we have, this is probably like my favorite new thing this year. This is just a large vase that I've had and I use all the time. And then again, just fake flowers from the Dollar Tree. These are all just white flowers and I like to just combine them um, because they're all white. It's, it's kind of nice to make like a big arrangement there. But the filler are these beautiful glitter eggs that are from the Dollar Tree. So this is actually three packs of eggs because this vase is huge. Um, but they, yeah, they were all a dollar and I think you get like 12 or something, maybe 10 in a pack. And they're just so stinking cute. I was planning on doing like a DIY of glitter eggs. But when I saw these, I was like, oh, don't even have to. I'm just going to use those. <laughs> So that's a great tool. I definitely recommend using things like that, like Easter eggs or things that um, that would typically be used like for a different purpose and use it to either fill your vases and just make them look more seasonal um, or, you know, have them displayed in little bowls and things like that. So here's another candle that we have. This one is Spring Leaves. It smells absolutely amazing and it's the perfect green color to coordinate with my Easter eggs over here. This little sign I made actually with my silhouette and it just says Happy Easter with an Easter egg on it and it's actually on a picture frame that we had already. So this is just another little console that we keep and I like to just change things out um, here as well with the seasons. And another thing that I made this year is this little Happy or Hello Spring banner. I also made this with my silhouette. So I understand like if you don't have one, I mean that makes it a little bit difficult, but you can definitely make something like this still. I would have, had I not had the silhouette, I would have just cut out this cardstock um, by hand and you know like made a, a template and just cut it out and then probably just drawn the letters on or like you know wrote them on with marker or something um, rather than using my silhouette. But that's something really easy that you can do and I just use ribbon um, to tie it all together. Okay friends, and this is probably one of my most favorite ways to decorate um, in your home that is practical and really inexpensive. And again, I have some fake flowers here in a pretty vase that we've had for a long time. And I have a little dish here of candy. So again, I got these from the Dollar Tree. They're peanut butter eggs and then little chocolate bunnies. And so each of these candies was a dollar, um, and they have great seasonal candy at the Dollar Tree. So things that are inexpensive but that are tasty, and you can use them to decorate and just bring some color um, and festive decor into your home. Alrighty guys, so that is it for our spring decor tour. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope it's given you some ideas for how to decorate your home for spring inexpensively or on a budget. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to know one thing that you're doing to decorate for spring. Leave it in a comment below. Be sure to like the video if you've enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe for more. I will see you very soon. Have a great day, and happy spring!